Scam alert! Scam alert! This is a Verified Safe Scam Alert. Welcome to the Verified Safe Scam Prevention Series with your host, Troy Williams. Today's topic is wireless router security settings. How to protect yourself from a potential hacker. Okay, what we need to do is go to the Google toolbar here and we want to search for the wireless router IP address. Normally, that will be 192.168.1.1. And when you access this IP, it's going to come up with a username and password. The username is normally lowercase admin, and then put in your uh, password that you've pre selected. Okay, we're at the interface. We know we have a Linksys router and we want to look for the firmware version. This version is 4.71.4. What we need to do first is make sure that we have the latest firmware update before we make any security changes in the router. So we'll go to the Google link here and we're going to type in Linksys as the manufacturer. And we're going to select uh, this one right here. Linksys was bought out by Cisco. And we're going to select support button. Linksys manufacturer. Okay, so for the, for the people that don't know the model number, we can find that right here. And there's a link that shows you how to do that. Just click on that. And go over here to the right. And we're going to select wireless routers and access points. Okay. And you'll notice a picture come up here that looks exactly like your WRT54GS. And on the bottom front side, you're going to notice there's a sticker here that has the model number and the version number. We need to know both of these before we can go any further. This one is a version 6 for demonstration purposes. Ours is a version 2. Okay, so we want to go back and click on the link sys support button again. We're going to type in WRT54GS. And we're going to go to the link that's got the downloads. Okay. The download section here, we're going to open this menu. It says select hardware version. We know we have a version 2.0. So we're going to select that. And we're going to find out if this is the latest firmware that we already have on the router. Right now, this version is 4.71.4, so that does match what we have. Our system is current, but if your system says anything else, a lower version, you need to go ahead and download that now. And we could do that with this link. We're going to save it to our desktop. Okay, next we're going to go back to the router and we're going to go to the administration link and config management link and then before we do any upgrades we're going to need to back the system up so we want to save our current settings so we don't mess anything up so click backup button and we want to save this also to our desktop okay now what we want to do is we want to go to the firmware upgrade button or link and then we want to browse to our desktop to find that upgrade link and then upgrade. For demonstration purposes we're not going to do that now because we already have the current version in here. Okay, the very next thing we're going to do is go to wireless link and we're going to start our security settings. The first one is wireless network mode. Let's change that to mixed. Wireless network name, SSID. We can type in anything here. The wireless channel. We can select any channel. And for the wireless SSID broadcast, we're going to disable that because we don't want everybody in the neighborhood to see what our uh, SSID is. Then save settings. Okay, then we're going to go to the the uh, wireless security section and we want to start making the changes here. The security code that we're going to select is WPA2 personal. Normally every router that comes in the box and you set it up it's going to be in WEP. 
WEP is insecure. That stands for Wired Equivalent Privacy. And what we want to do is we want to upgrade our privacy from WEP to WPA to Personal. Okay? Then we want to go to the next section, WPA Algorithms. We've got a AES or TKIP plus AES. So we want to be more secure. So we're going to select TKIP plus AES. So there's two encryption methods here. The TKIP stands for Temporal Key Integrity Protocol. It utilizes a stronger encryption method and incorporates message integrity code to provide protection against hackers. AES stands for Advanced Encryption System, which utilizes a systematic 128-bit block data encryption. WPA2 gives the best security for your home network. This protocol has a single shared secret key between the wireless access point and its client, which they use to connect only. Once they have connected, they negotiate a separate key to talk after that. This key is then rotated after a period of time configured on the wireless point sometimes every 60 minutes. Even if someone managed to get into your session, it would expire less than an hour. WPA is nearly impossible to hack if your password is not a word from a dictionary. A hacker running a brute force attack on an eight character WPA key would take a hacker much longer to figure out than a WEP. Your password should include uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers. Ideally use random characters rather than words. The best way I found for secure pa password protection is uh, the first letter of a song and then you can add you know whatever else you want to add into that so you don't forget unless you forget the song. So right here you're going to put in the uh, 20 character WPA encryption password or you can go up to 63 characters if needed. Then we're going to go to the group renewal that stays at 3600 second, seconds and then save the settings. Okay? Then basically you're done at this point. Your system is uh, more secure. I um, want to caution you, you're not going to be immune to hackers. If they want to get into your wireless system, they still can. But in, in this particular WPA setting, it's going to be lots harder for them to get in and that's what we want to do. We want to make it harder for attackers to get into our system. Uh, if you take your laptop to a coffee shop, uh, if you take it to a hotel, a convention center, wherever, you're not going to be 100% protected. If you use WEP, it's going to be easier for them to hack into it. And if you change it to a WPA, that's going to deter them and make, and make it a lot longer for them to get in. For more information on computer safety and scam prevention, visit www.verified-safe.com. And remember, you and Verified Safe can prevent identity theft and scams from happening to you.